It's another day on the site of the Crescent Dune Solar Energy Plant, another step towards a revolution in bottling solar energy. And here are the workers, the men and women. They are the ones building this first-of-a-kind plant with over a thousand workers on site during peak construction. But where do all of these men and women go at the end of each workday? What is the hometown of this site? Here we are in Tonopah, home to about 2,500 residents and the site of Solar Reserve's landmark solar energy project. Tonopah is located in central Nevada, midway between Reno and Las Vegas. Once a booming mining town, the residents of Tonopah still retain a great sense of pride in the town's rich history. I've lived in Tonopah since 1999. My favorite part about Tonopah is absolutely the history. The history of Tonopah and the part it played in the development of the state of Nevada. As the story goes, um, the town was discovered by a gentleman by the name of Jim Butler. Jim Butler was driving cattle through this area. And he got mad at his uh, donkey and threw a rock at it. And when he picked it up, he noticed it was real heavy and it was silver. And the new silver rush to Tonopah was on. When the rush initially started, people came from all over the West. There was a romance, there was an attractiveness to it. People wanted to come to those areas because they thought they could strike it rich overnight. You know, Tonopah's had so many boom-bust cycles, starting with the mining, the, you know, we just talked about the early discovery, and that is the story of Tonopah. It's, it's one that goes up and down, and it's very exciting. The Solar Reserve is the one that's leading this chapter. The silver deposits that sparked one of the biggest mining booms of the West have long since faded. However, with the arrival of Solar Reserve, mining in Tonopah is no longer history. Because instead of mining the ground, they are now mining the sun.